Okay, I finally got this damn camera to position itself, so yeah. It's a ratchet. Anyway, what up everybody? It's go see one three once again. I'm just here to show you my new protective style that I have. I have jumbo um box braids that I did myself. They once again took me 18 hours to do these braids. The only difference between the other braids in my other videos is that these are bigger and I like the bigger braids. Actually, to make a long story short, this was my original idea, meaning this is the, the exact style that I wanted. But you know, when you're a newcomer doing your own hair, you decided that sometimes things don't go the way you want, but it came out with better. So yeah, I'm here to tell you what kind of hair that I use and what's the difference with the hair and all that stuff so anyway first of all bullshit you not all the hairstyles that you see with the twisties and the jumbo twisties this is the exact same hair this is no new hair or nothing like that that um i haven't thrown none of that away all the hairstyles that you see me when it comes to twisties this is my first time doing jumbo braids which i love the same hair that I use for the twisties, this is the exact same hair that I use for the jumbo braids. I do not throw these away. I take them out, put them in the bag, because the way how I do my braids are kind of easy for me to just, you know, take them out or whatever. So I just keep them, and then, unless I want to do some color, I'll just burn some more hair. So the type of hair that I use, once again, is the uh, African Collection by Sensational. And it looks like this. And I use the... X Super Jumbo. I use the Super Jumbo and then I use the regular pack. Let me show you the pack. Okay. This is it right here. See the pretty lady right there. And in the back, it gives you all descriptions of what you can do with it and all that stuff. And also, when I ran out of hair, which is kind of funny to me, I got me some more hair, which is the F Rail, Kinky on F Rail, or whatever. 85 inch Remy natural yakky braid, which is this right here. Got it from my local beauty supply. And I only had to use two small big strands, which is like right there. All oh, this is the number four. So let's get back to this hair in particular. Now, with the jumbo size, the hair is really long. And if you want really long braids, and I'm 5'4", so I would say this hair was maybe, maybe about, maybe 24, maybe 26 inches or whatsoever. I'm not sure. Uh, I will find a measuring tape, but I don't feel like looking for it, so I would say maybe like 22 or 24. But the problem with this hair, um, per se, is that... If you don't use it straight out of the bag, especially with the jumbo ones, see what I did was, since it was so long, I cut it so I can have more hair to work with. And, you know, like I said, thank God I went and bought me an extra because I would have had two patches missing. Or if I probably wanted to, I would have took some hair from the middle and, you know, put it up here. But I didn't want to do that. So that's what I did. Now, this one is silky, it's soft and everything, but it does tangle. If you do it the right way, it won't tangle, but like I said, all hair tangles, so don't get it twisted, okay? There it is. Now, the first time when I did this protective style, which in twisties, which I, I really wouldn't recommend this to do twisties. Sometimes they're very hard to work with, especially if you did the way I did. So, if you don't want to do twisties, I suggest you I get you some um, Kibonian, Cuban hair, Cuban hair, twist hair, free twist, equal, just came out with that one. So, I suggest you do that instead of um, regular kinky line curling hair. I mean, hair, I mean, if you want to, be my guest, but this is synthetic, so I wouldn't do twisties with synthetic unless you want to do really small ones. <laughs> just make a long story short again. Okay. So uh, there's two packs. This is the jumbo pack and there's a regular pack. Now with these packs, I'm 
honestly, with the smaller packs of hair, you do not get enough hair. Because I remember last year, I like, keep in mind, I had this hair since, you know, last year. I never throw these away or nothing like that. Still fresh. So, yeah, I remember I went up to the beauty supply with my ex-boyfriend at the time. And I end up buying, like, maybe 12 or 14 packs. And it's a good thing too because with the smaller version of this, not the soup, not the jumbo one, but with the regular one, it's really not enough hair. It's really thin. The hair is nice and fluffy and everything, but it's really thin as hell. What we require for you to get as many packs as I get, depending on what style. Now, I don't really care for, I don't really have a type of favorite hair. Pretty much, I use damn near anything. Whatever is there, I'll take it and grab it. So when I feel like being so-called natural, I didn't want to go with the braids and the twisties. I was pretty much getting tired of my wigs. And, you know, if you can tell in the video, on my last few videos, my skin is kind of acting up, so I'm breaking out. Sometimes I'll have, like, a reaction to the wigs that I wear. And what I mean by that is because I sweat a lot, and I don't really take probably care of my skin that much anyway like I should so therefore I will get rash and bumps and I just really didn't want nothing in my face I just wanted a style where I can just get up and go and don't worry about nothing so that's what I did so I did these jumbo braids which I love and I got in like a really messy bun because keep in mind I did this just got done with this last well actually I got I started at 11 and 11 yesterday, I didn't get down with 2 in the morning today. So I think that's a good about 18 hours, I believe. So still kind of tender and swollen, but I wanted to keep it in style where I just can get up and go and don't worry about shit. But anyway, this hair is really good to me. I think at the time I got it for like 189 Yeah, 189 a pack. So it's pretty much two dollars a pack and you know this this synthetic hair been getting get been getting expensive like hell like yo it's not even funny especially for to be synthetic I see pack of hair synthetic hair would be like ten dollars and I'm like really for synthetic really I can see that for like some human hair like some really bullshit ass human hair which I will buy in a quick in a quick minute. How you doing? But you know for ten ninety nine a pack uh no, can't do it. Everything that y'all see me rocking is pretty much on sale. Now with this hair, this was 85 inches. Ooh, they really trying to just look at that. Even old girl got the style. I know that took hours, unless it was photoshopped or whatever. Like they have her hair in a certain way, and they just you know photoshop this. Like stretch it out to do it that way or whatever I don't know. So that hair, I'm gonna tell y'all this: if you get something like this that says it's like, um, that's like um, 85 inches or longer, if that's possible, um, do not expect this hair to really be enough for you. Now the reason why I got this is because. I wanted emergency, so that's the reason why I got it. Well, I got it was on sale. The hair itself was like so thin. Like it would probably be enough for you to do a goddess braid or something or anything like that. But this hair man, this was so thin, but it did me good. It got me where I wanted to, which was two last which is two last of the pieces that I had in the front to do. So it did real good. I don't really expect to wear this hair down because, like I said, I'm going to mostly wear this in the updo or whatever because I just want to get a style where I can just get up and go and also start working out. I haven't really been working out since I left the hospital or anything like that, so I really, really have to get back into that. But, yeah. Now, the reason why... um. I'm just so all over the place with this video. It's just so funny. 
Like, this hair particularly, don't get me wrong, this hair is real good for the price or whatever. I think this cost me about, like I said, maybe $1.99 as well. So maybe $1.99, $2.99 probably. And it's real good. It's just that when you don't use it in its natural state, meaning this long ass piece of hair, it can be quite dreadful or whatever. But I'm going to tell y'all. These packages that come along with it, especially if you're going to do, like, jumbo braids like I did, you're probably going to need a few packs. You'll probably need about a good five packs. Wait. Yeah, a good five packs of the regular ones and maybe a good four or five of these to do a full head. At least for me, anyway. But it did what I wanted to do, so I'll be rocking the style for a minute because I just didn't really feel like wearing wigs. I didn't feel like doing shit with my hair period. So I just hurried up and put this in and voila. Magic. 18 hours worth of magic but it got done. But yeah, so. Yeah, I would get this hair. I wouldn't mind it. Just expect um, it says here it's soft, light. It's light, soft, tangle free. No. Easy brushing, easy separating. Like I said, the way I did it probably caused a little tangle. I lost some hair with this with this hair. But you know what? I'm not really big, really too picky about two dollar pack worth of hair, so yeah, really can't really be too bitchy about it. But I came out with some really good results. <laughs> Especially with the red lips and the hoops. Yeah. This is one of these styles where I just don't feel like doing shit. Just want to get up, go, and call it a day. Plus, spring is coming soon, hopefully. So I'll be rocking this more often. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this ratchet ass video once again. The mother place going from this subject to the next. So I hope y'all enjoy. But other than that, any questions or comments, just let me know in the comment section. So like I said. Really good hair, just not enough in the pack. And if you don't use it in its natural state, um, it can be quite tedious. But it has gotten the job done, as you can see. So thanks for watching my video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.